If you've done any tagging or work with metadata, you know that some metadata created in one photo application can't be imported or viewed in another. We're going to show you how Tag That Photo works with Adobe Lightroom Classic and Adobe Bridge to read, import, and manage metadata. We'll start by opening Tag That Photo. Next, we'll open Windows File Explorer and select the local folder we'll be using. These images have already been tagged on another Tag That Photo system. Ultimately, we'll be importing these into Tag That Photo on this computer. By right-clicking on each image, you can see the tags displayed in the default Windows File System properties. Going back to Tag That Photo, we go to the Settings page and add the folder containing these images. You'll have an option to specify file types and rules if needed. For the purpose of this video, we'll stick with the default settings. Click OK. Initially, we don't have the option checked on the settings page for writing metadata to the images. We first want to show that we can import existing tags and people. After three to five seconds, the system will start scanning the photos in the new folder. As the application detects faces within the photos, these populate people, suggested, or unknown tabs. We drill down on a specific person shown in this image in the photo viewer. Let's add a new title or caption. Now let's take a look at the metadata using an independent third-party tool called XNView MP available for free for home use. The newly added image title is not visible because metadata writing is turned off in Tag That Photo. Since we want to enable metadata writing, we'll turn the toggle to on. After a few seconds, we see the activity messages at the bottom right showing that Tag That Photo is now writing the metadata. There's an option in settings to write people names into keywords. This feature gives users the additional option to write names to keywords if they use applications that do not support the XMP format for face tags, such as Adobe Bridge. We'll turn this on. Now names are written in XMP formats as well as keywords. As you see here, when you modify a metadata setting, a new button appears so you can control when those changes will be written to your image metadata. If you're doing a lot of tagging and have lots of photos, it is much more efficient to turn off metadata writing until you have finished your tagging. Going back to Windows File Explorer, we can see that the new tag Lunch on the Town has been written to the image. We can also confirm this independently with XNView MP. Let's view the same images in Adobe Bridge. You can see all the keywords in the Keywords column. Now we go into Adobe Lightroom Classic and import the images. As you can see, the keywords show up for each image. Tags for named people are read properly as well. Tag That Photo writes face tags as person in image tags and in MWG, also supported by Adobe Lightroom Classic. As you make changes to metadata within Tag That Photo and run a refresh on those images in Adobe Lightroom, new tags will be updated. We hope we've shown how you can use Tag That Photo's metadata management features to easily add, import, and view metadata tags within your photo management workflow in Adobe Lightroom Classic and Adobe Bridge.